Welcome to this video, we're going to talk about the differences between position and concentricity. It's a little bit controversial because they've removed this symbol in the 2018 standard, but still I get a lot of questions about what's the difference between coaxiality and concentricity. Now this is an excerpt from Unit 13 of our online GDT program, which you can find in the link in the description below. In this simplified example, I just have two shafts, one a little bit larger than the other, and we have to select one of them as the datum feature. Which would you like to make the frame of reference? So we selected this one as A. We know that creates an axis using the smallest circumscribed cylinder, the highest points. So now this other feature will be referenced to this datum axis. Now we have two options, position or concentricity. You don't want both, you want to pick one or the other. Now I'm going to have to use the 2009 description of this one because in ASME Y145 2018, this symbol was removed, which you'll find out for good reasons. Let's start with position first. Position's pretty straightforward. It says the feature axis must lie within a diameter tolerance zone. So this diameter of 0.3 is a cylinder that extends the length of the feature. And the axis of that feature has to lie within that. The key is, how do we find the axis of this shaft? Remember, it's highest points, smallest circumscribed cylinder, also known as the unrelated actual mating envelope. So the highest points is what determines where that feature axis is. And I think in a lot of cases, that's what you want. When a mating part goes on there, it's going to fit onto those highest points. You want to know where the mating part's axis is, which through that smallest circumscribed cylinder. And this is what I think most people want. They want one axis coaxial to the other axis. So that's a good job for position tolerance here. Now, concentricity in the 2009 standard had a different meaning. It means you want the median points of the feature to lie within the tolerance zone. So same shape tolerance zone, you get that cylinder of 0.1, but instead all diametrically opposed median points must lie within the 0.1 cylinder. Now what that means is you're going to go across to your feature and look at the opposing median point. From here to here, where would be the midpoint? And it's about right there. From here to here, where's the midpoint? It's about right there. From here to here, where's the midpoint? About right there from here to here. It's a little heavy on this side. So you do that for infinite number of cross sections an infinite number of opposing median points and you get what they call a cloud of median points. And those cloud of median points have to lie within your cylindrical tolerance zone. It's pretty weird. It's not a median line because each cross section will actually have multiple median points. So they call it like a cloud of median points that has to lie within. What it's supposed to do is allow unsymmetrical form variation. Let's say our shaft comes in a little bit oval. Well, oval is fine because the opposing median point right on center, opposing median point right on center, opposing median point right on center. And even the part could look like a peanut shape as long as it's a symmetrical peanut because all opposing median points stay right on center. What concentricity doesn't like is when the part becomes D-shaped or offset in an unsymmetrical way like that form then opposing median point, perfect, opposing median point, perfect, but right here it'd be too heavy on the side so the opposing median point would be off. Where position says, I don't care, I'm just going to grab the highest points of each one. So it is kind of a funky one there that the opposed median points of each cross section that you want, and that's what concentricity means. I haven't found a lot of good applications for where to use this symbol. Usually you want the axis to be centered on something, that's position, or you want to control the surface relative to the axis. That'd be like runout. So runout would control form with your coaxiality, and position wouldn't control form with your coaxiality. So concentricity has this weird in-between where it controls some form, but not all form. It allows oval and peanut shape, just doesn't allow the D shape because it's oblong in an unsymmetric way. So in my Geotal Pro Fundamentals book, I have an example of this that shows what position means, and it's just coaxial, one axis centered on your datum axis. And that's what I think most people mean when they want it to be concentric. And they don't realize that concentricity can have some pretty funky definitions here with this cloud of median points falling within the tolerance zone. And again, these pictures are in my book linked in the description below. I think one of the other reasons confusion has happened between concentricity and coaxial is because of our Webster's Dictionary definition of concentric. When somebody says, I want these two shafts to be concentric, what do you think about? Well, they have a common center, you know, concentric circles, or they have a common axis, which coaxial. So Webster's Dictionary actually defines concentricity as like either the center or the axis, and they kind of combine both of them in one meaning there. Where ASME said, wait a minute, concentric and coaxial are actually two different terms there, and so they said position controls the axis, you want coaxial for that, 
and concentricity controls these median points, and that's what concentric means. So look at some of these examples in the ASME Y14-5 2018. You know, they said, here's figure 1057 there, where you have position tolerance that's going to be used for coaxiality. And pretty simple here, you have a smaller diameter called off as A, you want this diameter to have a size, and position within 0.4. That's good old coaxial. Now, I do get some people said, well, that's changed. You know, that wasn't like that in earlier versions. And actually, it was exactly like that in earlier versions. In 1994 standard, they did the same thing. Figure was changed just a little bit here, but they had a position tolerance controlling coaxiality and pretty much unchanged here. So you've been using coaxiality with position tolerance for decades now. I do want to talk a little bit about the ISO standards as well as how they handle this. So they have two symbols for location tolerance here. They have the position symbol and what we might call concentricity. But they actually separate the concepts here. Concentricity for center points, that's what this symbol is called, but it's coaxiality for median lines. So if you have concentric spheres or something, then it would be called concentricity. But if you have coaxial shafts, then they call it coaxial. So if you are using the ISO standards, yeah, they use this symbol a lot, but they still call it coaxial, which is really what position does. In ISO standards, they look at it a little different. Let's say you have a part like this one and your datum feature is in the back. So if this is our datum axis A in the center, this hole is coaxial with it. Nominally, it has a dimension of zero, so we use coaxial, the double circle for that one. But since this hole is off the center, we use position tolerance. Now in ASME, they look at it a little different. They say, well, if your datum is here, what does it matter where it is? If it's on the center, use position. If it's off the center, use position. And then they had concentricity for a different meaning. And we had some problems with that concentric thing, and people confuse it with coaxial. So the committee got together and said, do we really need two symbols, concentricity for this weird definition that people get confused all the time, or just have one symbol, position, coaxial or position off the center? And that's what I recommend here is stop saying concentric and instead say coaxial and use the position symbol exclusively. Even concentricity isn't going to be in the 2018 standard anymore, so it's an outdated symbol anyway. The only people that can use that double circle symbol are people with ISO standard, but again, don't call it concentric, call it coaxial. Well, hopefully this video helped. For more videos like this, please see Unit 13 of our Geotile Online program linked in the description below. Once again, thanks for the likes and shares.